Hey guys, welcome to Stranded Deep. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the top 5 things they should add to this game. So what I will be doing is, I will be showing you guys footage from other games so that you guys can see exactly what I mean and what they should add. So all to the side, let's get started. We are going to talk about a game called Raft. So a lot of you guys might actually know Raft. Raft is like a boat survival game. Technically, you have got all kind of loot washing up next to you. And then, yes, you're going to technically hook them, drag them into your boat, and continue building your boat to make it bigger and bigger. So that is actually a really cool idea. So I do not say this game should have the same, have bottles floating around and etc. and etc. I would rather say that it will be so much cooler if those loot actually washed up to shore. For example, plastic bottles coming to shore that you can use to fill up with water instead of making a water skin or a clay bottle. Also, once again, maybe a few barrels coming onto shore which you can keep over here and actually transfer the water from your water still over to the barrel. But yes, there's much more to take into consideration such as planks maybe floating into your island or even maybe palm fronts and etc and etc because in real life they do intend to fall off so if they do intend to fall off they might as well wash up to your shore if it makes any sense i think that will be something that's really really awesome as this game is really really loot hungry Boat tipping is one of those things that happens to everyone, especially to people on console. I mean, it is very difficult to get these boats, like, tipped back around. For example, I'm going to show you guys. You're going to jump and throw, catch, jump and throw, and just hope. Come on, baby. No, still not jump, throw. There we go. All right, so that was pretty easy uh, because I was standing on land. Now, try to do that in the middle of the ocean with a shark swimming beneath your feet. That is almost highly impossible. So one thing they can add to the game is like you all know, like if you want to interact with something, press E to pick up or uh, press E to use the rudder, press E to use the motor. I don't know what it said on console, but anyway, it would have been really awesome if they add like such an interaction to flip your boat, meaning that press E to flip your boat around. So if you're in the middle of the ocean, you don't have to stand and try to drag and throw this thing around if it makes any sense. You can just press E and it's like an automatic attempt to like bump it back over. So I do know that console, they are going to fix the boat tipping completely. It won't tip over again and stuff. But you can't tell me not adding an E to interact to flip it back around is a very bad idea. It is freaking amazing and they should really, really add that. I think it will help out. So many people in this game, especially while the bug is still not fixed. So yeah, definitely they gotta add that. Three. If they can add my next tip, that will be freaking extremely awesome. So this one is coming from Ark Survival and probably a thousand other games out there where you can actually craft your own clothes. For example, look at me. I've been a mess like this from day one. I mean, this is terrible. Uh, so yeah, it will be really awesome if you can craft your own clothes. And if you could, there is so much more they can add. So these ones I'm going to name to you guys now is not going to include to the other parts. This is just for uh, tip number three. Whereas if you can craft yourself some long pants and long shirts and jerseys and etc. That means they can add winter to the game. Imagine all of this covered in snow. Oh my gosh, that will be so freaking awesome. Like the top of the glass is like, ugh, the, sorry, sorry, the top of the glass. The top of the water is like kind of melted into ice and etc. Like that will be so, so freaking awesome. Like really, I would like that suggestion. Also, you can cut down maybe to short pants and short sleeve shirt. And that way, you won't overheat in the summer that much. Like your SPF won't be dropping so instantly, if it makes any, uh, any sense. So that is something that I think is really awesome. Also, they can like, take it up to the next level, where you can actually craft certain things to help you not to take so much damage. Uh, for example, you can craft shoes, so you don't stand on these purple starfishes that poisons you. I can't see one now. 
I know there's one over there, it's pretty far and there's one over there. But yeah, then for example, they can't pierce through your shoes, meaning that you won't take poison from them. Also, maybe you can craft armor or something that you can actually use so if sharks bite you they don't do so much damage they only do a little teeny bit of damage i mean making clothes like enabling uh, enabling you to craft them has got so much opportunities for this game even for example when you climb out of water they can add some uh cinematic features where you actually dry off your clothes for example you take your shirt turn it in a knot to help it dry a little bit quicker so you don't get too cold so yes, that is something I think is really awesome and they should definitely look into. As we all know, water stills are most dominant when it comes to giving you water. They always hold so much water and it's really easy to use. Especially you can just add a fibrous leaves to the bottom and just drink from the top and your water will go up. So what can they do to improve this? Definitely add a water still for sea water. So how this can work is they can actually use almost the same method but put this entire thing on a campfire. So as we all know that the water will obviously condensate with the fire underneath and all the steam will go up to the top almost similar to this and then the water will run down into a coconut flask and then you will have water to drink. Also in that way the pot at the bottom will have salt so you can use that salt to add it to your meat of your sharks or wherever you get your meat if it's sharks or if it's birds and then you can store the meat away so it lasts even longer I mean guys come on you cannot tell me that is not a good idea I think it's really awesome it will definitely boost up this game so much you have meat that does not actually um, what do you call it spoil so quick because these meats does not last unless you put them in the smoker but having me to put them away will also be a pretty good idea I think it will be really awesome so you can get two things out of like a sea water water still <laughs> that that's a lot of water water still One. so for the final tip no, I'm joking guys. If you guys are still watching, I've got a sixth tip for you guys, which is a bonus as well. Just to say, if you guys are still watching, thank you so much for the great support. Alright, so let's get back. Tip number five, and that is definitely to add co-op to this game. So we all know PC does have local co-op, meaning that one PC, same room, same screen, screen split in half. There you go, and you got to play with that. So obviously, if you don't have a f your friend with you, you can't play co-op. So that is not the way to go. That is the old days of PlayStation 2, where you have to uh, like split the screen in half. They should really add a game such as co-op where your friend actually can literally join your island and you can run around and etc. I would really like in the future if they had to do this. I would get myself a dedicated server. I'll go and purchase one. I will allow like 24 people to play for example and I will let every person have their own island and I'll make everything respawn for example. So then a bunch of my viewers or whoever uh, I can play with them. We can go visit each other. I can go and eat all their meat and all of that stuff. <laughs> Sounds pretty good, right? So yeah, that will be definitely one of the most awesomest things they can do to add co-op to this game. I think that will also help the game not to die too quick. But let me tell you guys, the problem about co-op, everyone is wishing for it, even myself. But if they're going to bring out co-op, it's probably not going to be cross-play. Meaning that Xbox can only join with Xbox, PlayStation can only join with PlayStation, PC can only join with PC. None of us can join each other like Warzone or Fortnite and etc and etc. Which is very sad. So obviously they're going to make it co-op. They're going to have to fix the bugs of co-op. Then they're going to have to like make sure that it works and stuff. And then they're going to have to add co-op, uh, not co-op, sorry, um, cross-play platform to it. So I don't think they are going to go through so much... Uh, troubles to get it. I really don't know. Beam Team has came back and surprised us with this game just coming to console. It was just day and night, boom, it is coming to console straight away. So let's move to the bonus tip. I especially kept this one for lost because I like it the most. And I think you guys would also like it a lot. So this topic is inspired by Subnautica. 
So, for example, as you get all these shipwrecks and etc., you can actually get like small mini submarines as well. So far it doesn't sound good, eh? But imagine they had to add small mini submarines and you can go and explore the reef drops. For example, let's swim to the end of the reef. Should be here in front. The water is still a little bit milky. The sun is not all the way up yet. And there's going to be a lot of sharks. Alright, so here is the reef drop. As you guys can see, it just drops straight down. So yeah, imagine having that submarine. Here we go, I just got bitten. Imagine having that submarine going down there to go and explore what else you can do. I mean, at first, it might sound a little bit dumb, but it can add so much more to the game than this shark trying to eat me. Like, imagine they can add Megalodons down there as a, a basic thing, for example, or they can add some giant sea monsters and etc. Like, the historical ones, I think it will be pretty cool having some big whales down there uh, and all of that different stuff that can eat you. So yes, and then you can find different components and parts and etc. down there. I think that will be super awesome. Also, it will help you to navigate longer uh, underneath the water. In that case, you're going to have to make batteries because obviously to keep the thing alight. So yeah, then you got to find different ways to make batteries from acid and etc. And et but yes, I think that tip is really, really awesome. They should really consider on doing it. They can add so, so much more to the game. But anyway, guys, there we go. I really hope you guys enjoyed the five tip. Uh, the five things they should add to Stranded Deep with the bonus one. So yes, if you guys have any other suggestions, drop them in the comments now as we speak. And then yeah, I will definitely look them up. I will definitely try to respond to all of them. Maybe with your awesome tips, I can make another video like this and Stranded Deep can hopefully see it. And maybe consider some of them, even though if they don't consider all of them, even if they do something of the, uh, of the consideration of the five tips, that will be super awesome. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, informative, educational, whatsoever, do drop a like. If you guys want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the logo at the bottom right corner. If you guys want to see a similar video, hit the icon on the left. If you guys want to see my most recent video, hit the icon on the right. And then I'll see all of you legends in my next video. But for now, cheers everyone.